Hello, Leo. Welcome to my channel. My name is Isabel from the tarotempress.com. I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. I'm going to be doing your tarot card reading now. So I've shuffled the cards and I've laid them out and we can begin. Now, the first energy that I'm looking at is giving me an indication of the many things that are going to be occurring in your love life during this period. I feel like there's going to be a lot of joys, a lot of things that are going to be making you feel a sense of happiness. Now, when it comes to love, I feel like opportunities are going to be all over the place. There's just this sort of sense that you're going to feel a sense of blessings. You're going to feel a sense of gratitude towards all the different doors that are going to be opening up towards you. And I feel like, you know, for the longest time, you may have been wanting these changes to occur. For the longest time, you might have been dreaming and wishing and praying. And I also sense from this particular card that there's a great deal of hope in terms of your dreams for your love life, you know, becoming a reality. So this is a very exciting energy, okay? Now, the next energy I'm looking at is showing to me that, you know, if there is a wish that you've had regarding a certain person, if there is something that you've been hoping and praying for with regard to a relationship, you know, there is an indication from the cards that that can become a realization in your world, okay? And you see, we have your card here right underneath of it all, okay? And this is indicating to me that something as simple as, you know, a desire to be loved, a desire to be wanted by more than just one person, could become a reality, you know, I feel like you're going to have a lot of options, a lot of possibilities when it comes to your love life. And that is something that's very, very exciting. I feel like for many of you, you know, opportunities are going to be opening up, there's going to be, you know, a chance to make something happen, especially in your love life, uh, you know, when it comes to dating and stuff, I do feel like there are many, many paths that um, are going to be, you know, just opening up for you and allowing for you to enjoy in what uh, the universe has to offer you right now. Now, I do pick up the energy of someone that is thinking about you, but I feel like there's an indication here of this individual feeling a little scorned or upset, right? Okay, so this could be one of your exes, right? And what I'm seeing from this person's energy is that they are either struggling to accept the situation for what it is and not yet able to wrap their mind around some things that have occurred between the two of you. So I'm, you know, distinctly picking up that this individual is someone separate to the other energies that I'm seeing from this tarot card spread. So that is a very interesting and unique sort of um, energy that Spirit wants us to see today, okay? So let's find out more about this energy. Yes, I feel like this is one of your exes and they're feeling incredibly worried about another individual's energy, right? So this person is scared of another person coming on the scene, right? Very unique because I can clearly see that this individual is afraid that you're going to go off and find someone else, they are, you know, clearly, you know, shaking in their boots. I do feel like, you know, you have other possibilities coming into your life and that you're going to have many, many options, many, many possibilities. And, um, you know, one of your exes is going to be upset about that. 
one of your exes is not going to be pleased about the fact that you're moving forward. You see, they feel like things are not going to change between the two of you. And they do feel disgruntled and disappointed with what happened in the past. But I also feel like they're secretly hoping that things will turn around for the two of you, right? But I, you know, I do feel from the cards that there's so many possibilities opening up for you. Let's see. Yeah, I feel like they feel very neglected right now. Confused by the fact that things are moving really slow, feeling a sense of emptiness and loss as a result of what has happened so far, feeling as if someone else is going to come in and take your attention away or take your love away from them. Confused about the fact that things are gone so slow or basically stagnant between the two of you. And I am picking up stagnation, okay? So that's a very interesting energy that this individual is ruminating about, okay? So this individual you are dealing with, I feel like they feel uncomfortable, you know, with the fact that you are stronger than ever, that you're moving forward, that you're focused on your life and that you couldn't be bothered about the past or that it's not troubling you. So I feel like someone feels as if they've genuinely missed an opportunity. And the other energy I'm picking up on is that this person, they are thinking back about the happiness they had with you at one point, okay? So I do pick up that energy very distinctively, especially from this particular card, okay? So let's see. What is this ex feeling about you moving on? Yeah. So thinking about the past, they're thinking about the happiness they had with you at one point. You see, I feel like they're obsessed about what was and they can't wrap their mind around the fact that, you know, what's currently happening, what is this current situation. And that's really troubling them that, you know, this love connection was really powerful. And here it is, you know, here it is that it has happened, that you could be moving on with someone else. And that's scaring them a great deal. So I do feel like there's a, a lot of fear regarding, you know, the two of you not coming back together. You see, they feel like things are changing, but not changing to their advantage. They feel like they are missing out rather than, you know, moving on as they thought it would be, you know, perhaps easy for them to do so. So I do get the impression that this individual is trying to heal themselves but I also feel like, you know, you have so many possibilities coming towards you. Just these two energies alone is representing two distinct individuals, right? Two distinct individuals that could be coming into your life, offering you love. And I feel like, you know, you're not really going to be prepared for it. Now, whomever you're dealing with in terms of the ex, what I'm picking up from their energy is that, you know, they're growing a little bit bitter, a bit of resentment I do pick up that energy and they're seeing like um, strong and worthy opponents coming into your life wanting to offer you love and afraid of that afraid that you know you're going to give in or that you know um, you might be uh, taken aback by these opportunities and that you might jump on it and completely forget about them I do feel like this individual is terrified of you moving forward you know having your strength and doing whatever you need to do. So if you're chatting to people on social media, or if you're chatting to anybody specifically, I feel like this individual is terrified that you're going to eventually move on and forget about them. So this is scaring them a lot. This terrifies them, in fact. And, uh, you know, you have to do what you need to do in your life. You can't wait around for someone, especially if you have other opportunities coming in. You have to open up your eyes to the possibilities and run with it, okay? 
I feel like this month is going to be an exciting month for many of you. So take these opportunities, jump on them. Don't hold back just because, you know, you're waiting for somebody to come along or that you're disappointed in one specific person for disappointing you. I hope you guys enjoyed your tarot card reading. If you want a personal one, you can get it at thetarotempress.com. Have a wonderful day and take care.